Praise to the Sovereign King, hear, hear his people sing, solely and wholly saving his own bride. There where the Lamb has died, heart, the Christ is crucified, washed by the blood of that great High Priest. Hi there, how are you doing? Do you have a moment to talk with us? We're out here telling people about everlasting life and, and also proclaiming life inside the womb. I encourage you to please not go in and support such an evil place. The Bible says murderers will not inherit the kingdom of God. And I'm pleading with you that we really care about you and we want you to know who Jesus Christ is today and have a support system. We want to save your baby. We want to take care of you. We want to care for you. Please come back out here. How are you doing today? Good, how are you? Doing good. We're out here telling people about Jesus Christ. Do you have a moment to talk with us? Okay, sounds good. Do you have a moment now to talk about Jesus? I, Ma'am, I don't know why you went into the Planned Parenthood, but I, I beg you to turn to Jesus Christ, protect the life that's inside the womb, know who Christ is, worship Him today as God in flesh. Hi there, welcome to Reformed Ex-Mormon. I'm Pastor Braden. I hope you're having a wonderful and blessed day today. Uh, as I shot these videos today of these different interactions at my local Planned Parenthood where I live, uh, it was very, very, very cold out. Um, but we were standing out there with a purpose to proclaim the gospel message, and that's a, a message of life, uh, specifically everlasting life that is found only in Jesus Christ, and how we as Christians care for the ladies that are pregnant, and we do not want the anyone to die, let alone those that are inside the womb to be murdered uh, electively by their parents, their own mother. If you today are seeking to get an abortion or that's something that has come across your mind, uh, I would encourage you right now uh, to look to Jesus Christ on his cross and see the God-man dying the death that you deserve and have salvation in his death, burial, and resurrection. And that by looking to Christ, you will see the love of God right there and the punishment of your sin and that you would turn to him for salvation, that you would have a change of heart towards wanting to harm that which is inside of you. And I would encourage you that if you are considering to get an abortion, uh, that you would go to your local solid church, a church that proclaims that same Christ crucified, and that you would seek uh, help through those different means as they, if they are a solid church, they should want to come alongside of you and help you um, through this trial that you're going through, whatever it might be. And uh, I, I promise you that if, if you are to hold off on getting an abortion, you will not regret that decision, whether it be through adoption or you keeping your own child. Uh, and if you have had an abortion, um, I want to I want to read this uh, this text. It comes from First uh, Corinthians chapter six, verse nine. It says, "Or do you know not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? Do not be deceived. Neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor uh, adulterers, nor effeminate, nor homosexuals, nor thieves, nor the covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor swindlers shall inherit." the kingdom of God. And such, this is so important, and, and, and just to be clear, this also is repeated in, in the book of Revelation, and it says that neither will murderers inherit the kingdom of God. And in verse 11, it says this, and such were some of you. But you were washed, but you were sanctified, but you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ and in the spirit of our God. I want to be clear, if you've had an abortion and you've committed this horrendous act of murdering your own child, it is not too late. You are under sin and you fall short of the glory of God just as everyone else does. And it is not too late. For some of, uh, some of you were, is what it says in there, you used to be these things. But when you come to Christ, you have a new life in him. It would go on to say later on in verse 20 of the same chapter in 1 Corinthians, it says, 
for you have been bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body. So I would encourage you, if you have had an abortion, turn to Christ for salvation. If you haven't had an abortion, you're considering it, turn to Christ for salvation and do not commit the heinous act of murder. Seek resources that will help you as they are out there and are abundantly available for you and they are easy to find. And go to that local church and and be walked alongside with other Christian and fellowers to the cross of Jesus Christ and be saved today. God bless and go in peace.